Hey guys, Danny Johnson here. I ordered some screaming yellow side scoops from a car that was being parted out. And so today I'm gonna to open this up and just kind of show you what they are. And I'm gonna show you some tips on removing the side scoops. I have a full video that I'll put in the video description on how to properly remove them. And I'll also show you why you don't wanna just yank on them. Now, of course you have to understand that these are used parts and so you can't expect them to be perfect. I did ask the seller on several accounts what the condition were uh, with them. Uh, I was never given a response. I just got a picture and I asked if any of the tabs were broken. He said no. Um, and so um, he did send pictures and I didn't even notice that the bottom two tabs actually were missing completely. Uh, it could have been that way um, before he even got them because he was parting the car out. And in another conversation, he later told me that the car had been repainted a few times. I wish I would have known that. Uh, but luckily, the quality looks pretty good. They either did a good job repainting them or possibly they were not repainted uh, as the car was repainted several times. On the driver's side, I did notice a pretty good scratch too, which I think should have been disclosed. Uh, again, it was really hard to get answers. I asked several times what the condition was and basically was just sent pictures, which you can't always tell. But again, I'm not trying to be too picky because uh, they are used parts. These were all things that probably would have uh, made me decide whether to buy these or not because I was looking for a mint condition set to put onto my car, which is uh, show quality. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, they are used parts again. And these are original. It was important that they have the overspray on the back side. They say screaming yellow, Terminator screaming yellow on the tag there. Uh, and the main reason I wanted these was for uh, the passenger side. And so I lucked out that the passenger side one was near perfect. I was very happy about the condition other than the missing tab and broken tabs on the back, which we'll uh, address here in a minute. But uh, this is why I wanted to get it. Uh, as you can see on my uh, stock one here, it has uh, a little nick out of it and a scratch. And so I just thought side scoops were something I could pop off, keep the originals, and then put these ones on. And so um, I have a full video again on how to remove the side scoops properly. People will tell you just yank on it, and you don't want to do that. Uh, it will break the tabs. So what you want to do is come on the inside of the car and push the tabs through the back. It's a little more work to do it this way. You have to undo the interior, which I'll show you step by step in the video. But as you can see, this way you can collapse these uh, little clips and then push them through. And as you see here, I did not break any of the tabs here. They're all still intact. And so to me, that's the proper way to do it, especially if you're doing this on a car that you really care about. So inside there's like a plastic piece that you'll go through and then you'll just uh, pop this out and uh, push it out and inside. Here's mine, it has the original screaming yellow tag on it, which is really neat. And so I just went to town and started cleaning where uh, some dirt and grime had got in here. And uh, of course, you'll never be able to clean this without this off. So um, anyway, got it all cleaned up and ready for the new one. Uh, even though the side scoops I bought were off of a Terminator, the inserts were not. And so. Uh, basically, I took a pair of pliers and all you do is very lightly pinch each side of the tabs on the back and then it will slowly, uh, you'll be able to push this back out and lift upward on it because there is a little hook on it. So anyway, I was able to get uh, the little inserts out, the Terminator specific ones, and I did a video on this not too long ago as you can see. And so on the back side of these, uh, the word Terminator appears, which is really neat. It was one of the few places on the car other than the stickers that Terminator appeared when it really shouldn't have. It was a mistake by the manufacturer. So um, if you have lost yours, they do sell them on late model restoration reproductions for $25. They probably won't say Terminator on the back. But uh, anyway, um, I decided it was uh, I was going to go ahead and JB Weld these down. And so um, I got the JB Weld out, mixed it all up pretty good put it uh, underneath the tabs and then uh, set some pressure on it. So um, it turned out pretty good. In fact, it's more firm than, uh, I think they're more sturdy than they started with. So pretty happy about that. Um, I did sa see that the top one was also uh, cracked. So I'm welding that one back together too here and uh, gonna put it back together. 
Uh, I thought it was kind of fun too. I just decided to uh, write Danny Johnson inside this uh, scoop here where you won't see it with it uh, installed, but just kind of a fun little Easter egg hidden thing. Uh, kind of in the same way that it says Terminator on the back of the insert. Uh, now, late model restoration does sell brand new Ford OEM scoops, uh, no hardware, and that's uh, $100 each, so $200 for a set. So just something to consider. As these parts are used, they're available, but you want to make sure that the tabs haven't been broken, that people haven't just yanked them off. Next, I took some double-sided sticky tape, and since we all know that one of the strongest forces in the universe is uh, duct tape when it's on itself, uh, that's basically what this stuff is. So I folded it over again so it was a little thicker, and then I just went ahead and uh, went to push the side scoop in. So these should stay on as I'm doing my 175 mile an hour pulls in fifth gear, right? <laughs> So everything's good to go here, and it has the Terminator side vents inside, and uh, so I went ahead and just pushed them back on. I really wanted to make sure that these wouldn't be loose and kind of move around, so uh, all the tabs uh, were in good place, especially this bottom one that I welded on entirely because it was missing, and these other ones look real firm now, so... Um, I feel like it's going to go on pretty well and still have the uh, authentic Terminator tag on the inside. And so I just lined it up and popped it on. So I think it turned out pretty well. It matches perfectly. Uh, you wouldn't notice any different. And as I walked by it a few times and looked at it, uh, I think it uh, turned out pretty nice. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're already following, please uh, turn on the notification bell. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.